Hey, how's it going YouTube? It's me, Alan, again, and I am back today with a review for Sperry's and just boat shoes in general. Now, me personally, in the past, I used to not really like these shoes for the main reason that uh, they just look like an old man shoe, and they still kind of do, but it's not as bad as it used to be. See, back then I was a teenager, and now I'm an adult. Duh. But because of that, I recently started thinking maybe they don't look so bad and perhaps maybe I'd like to put an age limit on this, but I'm gonna leave that to the end of the video once I'm done with my review. Story time. So a few months back, my family, friends, and I, we went to the Grand Canyon, and on our adventure, I realized that you wanna take something comfortable, and personally, I still like to be stylish. I don't wanna look like I'm gonna be working out at the gym while I'm hiking. Is that hiking? I don't know. Anyways, we were on the trail of the Grand Canyon and I realized that many other men and other guys were wearing either any kind of boat shoe or Sperry's and I thought to myself, well, you know what, maybe they don't look so bad and on top of that, they might be a whole lot easier to clean because see, I took some canvas kicks that were fabric-y, so needless to say, trying to get them cleaned up was not the most convenient thing ever. It was, it was really a pain, guys. But anyways, that is why today I'm going to be making a video of my first reaction of Sperry's and Boat Shoe. Okay, you guys, so getting started right here. Here's the box. Nothing really special about it. It's just a regular cardboard box, but hey, you can't be too picky, right? So one thing I don't wanna do is have like some kind of extravagant sort of reaction. And the reason for that is because I've already seen the shoes. I actually picked them out at Macy's and they didn't have my size. So I ended up having to order them online. But um, yeah, let's go ahead and get them opened up. Ooh, my bad, my bad, my bad. It says right here, Sperry Top Cider. Um, I'm not a... 100% sure what that top cider part means. I can only assume it's the style of the shoe. So hey, don't kill me for it. We're just trying to learn together here and I've never really been into these shoes. So I wanted to take the time and actually look up what top cider is. I personally am assuming that it's the traditional style of the Sperry shoe, which is the one that we more casually see. So down here, we do have a description. It says Sperry or Sperry Top Cider is an American, that's interesting, an American brand of boat shoe designed in 1935. So judging by that description, one would think that Top Cider, Sperry Top Cider is just a complete name for the brand. But actually down here, it does say Sperry's or Top Ciders were the first boat shoes introduced into the boating and footwear markets. So as of now, I would say that it is the style of the shoe, but it can, I think it's a little bit confusing. I know that Sperry makes many different types of styles, such as these canvas kicks right here. They also make some gym shoes, and I know they also make some boots. A little bit of an insignificant detail. So I guess you can go ahead and decide that for yourself, but as for me, I'm going to say it's the style of the boat shoe that Sperry makes. Now back to the video. Let's go ahead and open this up. Oh my, oh no, never mind. I thought the shoe had a scratch on it. Okay. Doesn't look like they have the little thank you note that some companies put uh, see, some companies uh, as big as Sperry's, they will put a little thank you note with a message on there of gratitude, you know, in order to keep their cu their customers coming. Just a, uh, you know, minor attention to detail, not a big deal, but I will never buy anything from Sperry again because, hey, apparently they don't want their customers to come back. I'm just playing around by the ways. All right, so here are the ones that I picked out. The color of these is brown. I'm not 100% sure what kind of shade of brown this is. I would say this is like a cocoa coffee brown. 
So um, I just love the color brown. I would, I believe that actually most of these berry shoes, correct me if I'm wrong, most of them are actually brown. I did see a pair at Macy's that was black, but um, I don't think I've seen any other color besides brown and black. Maybe I saw some blue ones once, but brown and black are the main color that I've seen for this style of shoe. So moving on now to the feel and the sturdiness of this shoe. Immediately, it, it is very obvious to the eye that these shoes have been made with a lot of care and a lot of love. I want very high quality materials. Check that stitching out on this shoe. That looks like it's been done by hand. I could be wrong, but I mean, wow, that is great. Another cool attention to detail about these shoes. I love it when a, comp when a company will send your shoes over with this little straw-like cardboard thing and this wedge that they put inside. So what that does is that it keeps the shape of the shoe intact. So when they ship it over to you, it doesn't get all squashed up in the shipping process. Now for the following part of the video, I'm gonna get into how to actually style these shoes and just my overall take on what, on what I actually think about them. So cosmetically and feel-wise, they feel very nice. They look very nice. But I will say I'm a little bit disappointed because if you can see right here, I'm not sure if you can see with the light. They don't look like the most comfortable shoe in the world. But hey, I gotta go ahead and put them on, right? This looks like it would be perfect for the beach or like I mentioned earlier for the Grand Canyon or it just looks like a great vacation shoe. But enough of that, let's get on with the video. All right, so very quick before we get started with this next part of the video, one of the most important things that people ask about these kind of shoes is whether to wear socks or not with them. So what I actually ended up doing myself is that I asked one of my buddies who's worn these shoes for a very long time what he, uh, what he would recommend and what does he personally do. Now what he told me is that these shoes are actually designed to be worn without socks. That's the way they were designed. But that he would encourage every now and then, you know, go ahead and throw on some socks because you don't want to have sweaty feet and stink up your shoes, you know. whenever. Whenever you can, go ahead and throw on some socks. Now, the following, I'm going to show you very quick these kind of socks that you want to wear because you don't want to wear dress socks, you don't want to wear ankle socks, and you definitely don't want to also wear this style of sock, which in uh, some brands, they will tell you they're no-shows, but these are still, I mean, for some shoes, there'll be no-shows, but for this style, you will not because if you wear this style of sock, you will still see the top rim of it uh, being exposed and that does not look very good so what you want to make sure you do is get this other style of sock that completely removes this layer on top put it on And there you go. So it does kind of show up a little bit, but that's just a little minor thing. Nobody's actually going to come Googling at your foot being like, oh, look, you're wearing it wrong. No, it doesn't really show, so you should be fine. All right, so for the following, I decided to go with some styles that we mainly see on a regular basis. I would say I see these at the mall, at work, uh, at the park, pretty much anywhere. So for the very first style I decided to go with, I'm actually wearing it right now. I decided to go with some light blue denim jeans and a black uh, button up short sleeve shirt. I really like this combination of colors because brown and blue just always looks really good together. It's not exactly the most super casual thing, but it's casual enough for you to take it anywhere. On to the next one. Style number two, the one that I decided to go with now is more of a summer look, which is definitely out of season. However, I am from Houston, Texas, so tomorrow it's going to be 100 degrees most likely. So this is going to be a very comfortable attire tomorrow. So I was very excited to try this one on because 
I've always had the shirts and the shorts to go very well for the summer, but I never quite had the perfect pair of shoes to go along with it. So now it's complete. Style number three. I believe this one would be the most popular one with the summer one, possibly a close second. This is gonna be the outfit that I think you will see most often, specifically in the workplace. Style number four, I believe this one to be the most complex and most attractive one out of all of them. And the reason being is because I can't get enough of how blue and brown look so great together. It is the most harmonious colors as far as dressing up has ever gone. Now let's go take these for a walk. As mentioned before, let's go ahead and break these in. Let's go for a walk. As expected, these shoes are not the most comfortable thing I've ever worn, but I did want to try them in multiple surfaces. So I decided to bring them out to some gravel, followed by a more rocky surface and some leaves. Didn't really make a difference. Now back to the gravel by the poolside. This just looked like a cool picture, so I decided to film here. And some tall grass. I apologize, you can't really see the shoes, but hey, I wanted to try everything. So thinking about this, the pros definitely far outweigh the cons. The only con is the comfort level, but I definitely make the sacrifice. All right, you guys, thank you very much for clicking on my video and taking the time to watch this. My final verdict on the shoes is that I absolutely do love them as far as the looks and the materials. I did mention right from the beginning that they did not look like they were the most comfortable shoe and I couldn't have been more right. They're not exactly very comfortable. Um, you would have to sacrifice your feet a little bit in order for yourself to look good. But hey, women do it all the time with heels. So hey, we should probably do it too. You know what I mean? <laughs> so again, final verdict. The shoes look great. They feel great. Not the most comfortable. And I hope that I was able to display a very good amount of different kind of styles that you can wear with them. So go ahead and steal those from me. And also comment down below and let me know of any other styles that you would like or that you would suggest for me to uh, put these on with, okay? The only thing that keeps playing back and forth in my head is my teenage ego. I wonder what that guy is thinking right now. Dude, so I heard that there's time traveling now. I bet my future self looks awesome. Dude, you're wearing old man shoes. God, I knew I should have gone to college. <sighs> okay, all right, look. That guy is not entirely wrong. He may sound like a douchebag, but hey, he comes through sometimes and lets me know, dude, you're almost 30, so do whatever you can to Still look like a young guy, please, all right? Don't let me down. And I hope each and every one of you out there also has that voice inside your head that tells you to do, to do, to do a better job, you know? Just a little bit. I'm not saying go out there and conquer the world, but at the very least, eat a little bit healthier, at least three times a week, or go out to the gym, work out a little bit. That way you look healthy, and you feel healthy for as long as possible, you guys. Merry Christmas to you all and your families. New Year's Day is coming up, and that is a very important date for many people out there, including myself, so we can set new goals and just reach for the skies. Guys, the sky is the limit, so do whatever you can to achieve your goals. Till next time, later.